Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail. In this episode, we are going to cover the ATV Regional Trail Connector Pilot Program in Pennsylvania. It's a means to connect many of the DCNR trails with each other and provide access. We started in Gaines and had access to a hunting lodge there. Gary had his Razor Trail, I had my Grizzly 700, and we packed a little extra fuel. Avenza Maps is made available for download on your mobile device and it lists all the maps for the entire system, roadways, and points of interest as well. So we took a ride out. A beautiful day. This was the final weeks of the trail system being opened. End of September. We'll put a list up exactly when you have to uh, cease operation and it's closed for the rest of the winter, along with a lot of the other trails for hunting. So the full trail map does locate where you can ride and where you can't ride. Gary wanted to show us a few locations, and this was the old swimming hole in Watros. The weather was seasonable and it was comfortable, although we had a jacket on. Couldn't ask for nicer weather. We made our way out. We had received our permit stickers, which we had fixed to our vehicles. And this was the third year that they're doing this, and so we really hope that they will continue this. It is mostly Potter County, but it does go into some surrounding counties, and the signs are very well listed. Allow you to get to places to get something to eat, or get supplies, and most importantly, if you need to, you can stop and get some fuel. But do check on the map gas locations that are accessible by ATVs are not all over the place, so plan accordingly. The Beaten Trail is sponsored by Ride Royal Blue ATV Resort in Pioneer, Tennessee, where all of your Tennessee adventures begin. Lodging for any budget, bring your RV, or stay in a cabin. Trails are attached to the resort and not a far drive on ATV legal pavement, so stop down at Ride Royal Blue in Tennessee. Most of the roads will be dirt or gravel or standard trails. A good portion of roads, about 400 miles, are accessible and they are pavement. So this overlook was one of the places that Gary wanted to take us. You park your vehicles and you take a short walk into the state park. Now there are restrooms here as they mentioned, so if you need a spot to make a pit stop, it's a great location. So this is over to the overlook here, and I'll look it up on Avenza and put it down below the coordinates. But you walk into the state park because obviously you're not going to use your motorized vehicle here. It's a beautiful view, and you can find locations on both sides of the canyon to get such a scenic view. So back on the road we went, and we were going to try to make some time, and just the meadows and the sites were beautiful. And of course, as you come closer to residential areas, you will see they do ask that you lower your speed and keep the dust down. Germania was our next stop, and it was time for fuel and a little food. Five dollars a gallon here in Germania. Brenda's Cafe. Snacks. The old Germania store. And right across the street, the Germania Motel had a bar and we got a quick bite to eat. Back on the road, we did run into some other riders. Not an overly heavily trafficked area, but I'm sure in the summer it would be. A 
again, keep an eye out for the signs. They are listed at each of the locations and intersections to help you know where to go and where not to go. It would be nice if you could extend the season further to see the fall colors. There will be a discussion and further notes about continuing the program in the future, so let's hope that they wish to expand the program and continue on to allow access of all these roads. Here's a listing of the other trail systems which interconnect with this overall pilot program. We have several videos listed for all of these locations, and if they're not out yet, they will be shortly. We appreciate you watching, and if you like these kinds of videos, please let us know in the comments. We try to provide as much educational information about riding on trails, but also when they do these pilot programs, what are the details that you should be made aware of? We ask that you please click on our Amazon links before you go shopping. It helps to support the channel. Big thanks again to our sponsor, Ride Royal Blue. We appreciate them as well as all of our partners for being along for the ride. Be sure to get over to Lid Industries for the brightest rock lights you can find. And check out some of our hats and shirts over at our merchandise page. Thanks again for watching and we hope to see you out there on the trail. Thanks.